Welcome to Pokemon Freak Advance everybody and this is second time that I'm recording the video and I love League so much like they are my favorite content to clear and in this video we're gonna go on to Pokemon Legends Leaks and Rumors I just finished making up a presentation and at the end of the presentation there are some very cool graphical designs I made for the night for these games and there's some brilliant diamond and shining pearl stuff too but this one will not be focusing on bdsp it will be focusing on legends arceus what all we know about the game and hopefully make you sad so let's start okay the trailer shows us a game that combines action and rpg elements in an open world adventure the story should take place between 150 years ago, signing both end of the Edo era and the beginning of the Meiji period. Before ideas such as being a trainer or having gyms even existed. 150 years ago guys. Come on. Pokemon is only 25 years ago and they are going that back. <laughs> like come on Pokemon, you can't do like that. 150 years that was should pl take place. They, won't, they didn't tell it will take place. That means they are 100% confident of this. So, the Edo era and the Meiji period. I don't know about any of that stuff. Um, but they told that this is about the ancient Japan period. And I think that I don't agree with that. Now, the reason why they chose the, say, those starters is that they ruled out Gen 1 and Gen 8. The reason for those are that those generations are do you want to listen to this new let me explain charmander squirtle and bulbasaur they are wonderful yeah like they are the good starters <laughs> okay I, I don't have a good explanation but i think that Pokemon should have done a little bit of balance testing about the starters, but just thinking they're not trainers or gym leaders will upset a ton of people, including me. They're the gyms people. What are you gonna do with this freaking game? Catch Pokemon, maybe have a little bit of story with Arceus. That's all. What if this game is for fifty dollars? You're gonna die. I, I feel bad for the kids, man. They thought, oh, Pokemon is for us, and it's like fifty dollars for a game, but they won't even allow me for five dollar. Uh, yeah, the kids will be angry. Yeah, next, we set this new adventure in the ancient Sino region, where people from all over the world are settled in a certain village to explore this new land. This time, the goal of the game is to catch all the Pokemon in order to create the very first Sino Pokedex. Now, one thing, from all over the world, Sino is inspired from Japan, and from Japan, the two regions, Kanto and Johto, is also inspired. I think a little bit of Alola is also there, and so Rowlet coming. Ooh, so that's the reason. But I don't know why you know why is there. You know why is based off America, I think. I'm not sure that much. So that's the reason. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So this is a solid explanation for Rowlet being there. Alola, Japan. Good explanation. All over the world. But America is far, 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 far away from Japan. Seriously, guys, it's like so far away. So maybe that could be a small time failure that a certain Snivy came. I'm so happy that Snivy came back. Wait, not Snivy. Oshwart came back. The starters are Oshwart, Rowlet, and Cinequin. You know which one I'm gonna choose? I'm not gonna choose Cinequin. I'm not gonna choose Rowlet. I'm gonna choose Oshwart. The worst starter. Because Pokemon games are going to be very easy, so I wanted toughest Pokemon. In my main account, I'm going to choose Rowlet, of course, my dude, but in my side account, you know which one I'm going to choose. And I'm going to make a movie about this too, just to trouble my audience. Alright, next. In this ancient time, Sino is full of Pokemon from other regions, and the Pokedex we must create is a sketchbook text. In the trailer, is teased. Multiple times the drawing is important for this game and the chat. Side also mentioned it leaving no more doubts. Now, one thing about this is that 
I want to write my own text entry for them. I don't know if Pokemon will do this. I will wish if like the Crown Tetra stuff like that it will be there but I don't wish like that. I want my own stuff. I want to write my own things. You got it guys? I want to write my own things. And it will come into the specific font that the old Crown Tetra font. I would love that. And we could make our own drawings with our hands. More than happy. I am getting the game at $30. The first add-on 10 to 20 but if they add a dark feature, it's good for 30 Alright, no more doubts. No more doubts. Alright. I think this is a reason why in the same place where we will receive a start in the background, there are large piles of papers indicating, see that the papers are above the text box, that the information are gathered through writings and drawings that will be chosen to fill this role. The creation of the text. There's gonna be piles of paper. Have you seen this you know, decks? Ten of fire types. <laughs> yeah. You know why they, there's a reason why they're normal fire types because they don't want the paper to get burnt. <laughs> yeah. But there's a lot of abundance of water types which make the paper wet. But one thing that I learned in the ancient Indian periods is that people used to write on manuscripts. And while it was reading, also people used to learn. So that means manuscripts are immune to water. That makes much more sense, guys. Yeah, people used to play in the rain and write. Oh my god, I should have thought about that. I'm gonna type it in someone's comments. Sorry, no man. Share it in someone's comments, guys. Okay, now these are some quality graphical improvements I made for the night. And it looks incredible. I did this all in PowerPoint, not Photoshop. I'm not that stupid. I don't even have it. And look at the fine detail. I, I had to actually change the sun. Yeah, but I, that wasn't able to do it in PowerPoint. But look at the graphical changes. The left side is the old and the right side is what I made. You won't believe it, but just decreasing the saturation and increasing the brightness makes a ton of difference in powerpoint all right and even the second picture it looks so good like look at dawn the darkness is cornered around one thing even more the cornerism of the darkness is so good i wish this were during the night at much more darkness i could not control the darkness in powerpoint but this is cool if they could do like that all right i don't want the bright graphics i want these graphics guys and if they can't do that, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna shut down all the lights and then play the game. I'm 100% serious about this, guys. Okay, the next are this graphics, but I don't think these are that much of change. The rover looks a little bit crazy there, but um, uh, okay. The I have solved the brightness issue in this uh, uh, first diagram. The brightness looks a little bit more accurate but the second diagram mm, the lake looks good the lake looks good i have to admit me for that but for a dark background the character should be more synchronized oh uh, yeah the background should only be changed all right the characters they're gonna be the same constant i mean, they could have a darker feeling in the night all right that is more important because i don't play during the day all right that's cool next is it it's no background it looks Top down, I want if this doesn't be the actual background, guys. I don't know what to do. The second one, I'm not that good of a fan of what I did. It's whatever, but it's not that bad, you know, guys. What I'm talking about. Then is this wonderful. Oh my god. Ah, oh, she has said this. Look at what PowerPoint has the power to do. Look at the stupid diagram and look at the night mode. How cool is this, guys? I will not even tell anyone to play during the day. It's stupid to play during the day. If they have a system like this, it's wonderful. It's such polished graphics. It's wonderful, alright, guys. It's miraculous. Right? And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you wanted a screenshot, of this, of this, of this, of this. Don't please ask me for screenshots, guys. Go to PowerPoint, take the original screenshot, and then darken it. It looks so good. Reduce the saturation. I mean, increase the saturation and reduce the brightness. Yeah. It looks 
freaking cool it looks like a new generation of pokemon games i'm 100 not doing it in some kind of a anything is actually a true saturation increase and a brightness decrease here comes the outro and if you want me to do more of this graphical changes in powerpoint please do tell me i'm gonna do more all right you don't need to tell me but please do tell me do whatever uh, that i tell you in most of my videos like subscribe share and say a comment below and wait for the next video here comes the outro